In the summertime, I like to have a little bit lighter meals, smoothies, salads, things that don't take, you know, a lot of cooking in my kitchen or even heating up my kitchen. And also lighter meals when it's hot out feels a little bit more refreshing for me. Now, a lot of my clients first come to me thinking that, you know, salads are diet food or rabbit food. And I hear all kinds of things about salads. They don't need to be though. I'm not eating salads or suggesting my clients eat salads to be able to count points or count calories or restrict your food take intake. Actually, it's the opposite. Foods like salads and smoothies are a really great opportunity for us to think about what we can add in. So we're not talking about cutting back and I'm not talking about just having some iceberg lettuce in a bowl. I'm talking about really making a delicious, nutritious salad. And so there's some steps that go into that. I'm going to cover them in more detail in the blog. So definitely click on the link that I put here with this video so you can head on over there and get the specifics. But I want to quickly run through my outline as to how I throw together a salad. So first thing that you want to do is just really pick your base. Like what actually is it? Is it a spinach salad? Um, you know, there's so many different le leafy green vegetables that you could use. And in all honesty, I think you should actually rotate. So if I was just left to my own choices, I'd pick a spinach salad every day because I love it so much. But for most nutrition, it's a great opportunity to really mix it up. So kale one day, spinach one day, lettuce one day, you know, just really get some nice variety, but pick your base and then add your fruits and veggies. So adding fruits and veggies is a really good opportunity to add some more color, to add some more nutrients. There's so much extra flavor you can add in by tossing some fruits and veggies in. You might be thinking if you're not used to eating fruit in your, in your salad, you might be not really following what I'm going for here. Think about a spinach salad with some blueberries in there or some strawberries in there. Absolutely delicious. I actually have a strawberry um, and spinach salad recipe that I can share with you guys. But if you think about shredding some carrot in there, chopping up some cucumber, adding some radishes, just start adding some fruits and veggies to really, really bring out the color, bring out the flavor, add some nutrients. The next thing to start thinking about what you can throw in is some protein. So protein is definitely needed in our diets. And when we can add it into a salad, we're really getting a little bit extra benefits. So we really want to make sure that you get some protein in your diet. And this could be any number of things. So whether you like to eat chicken and have some chopped up grilled chicken in there, or whether you want to add some hemp seeds, there's all different kinds of things you can do, whether you're plant-based or whether you um, like to eat meat with your meals. So there's all kinds of options, but please make sure you choose some type of protein to toss into your salad. So beans and legumes, I actually today for lunch put chickpeas in my salad, like garbanzo beans, and it was delicious. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, beans and legumes are actually really high in protein and fiber as well. So you get some extra benefits there as well, because that's actually going to keep you feeling full longer. And if you're a person that thinks that salads are too light, adding in this extra protein is something that's going to help you really feel more um, like more sustained, like it'll really give you a little bit more energy and feel fuller longer. Longer. The next thing to toss into your salad is some whole grains. So carbohydrates are a really excellent source of energy and we're talking about healthy carbohydrates. So a really perfect ad addition to like any meal that you eat, but salads in particular. So toss in some quinoa or some barley or some rice into your salad because this is going to help stabilize your blood sugar. It's going to give you a boost of energy without that crash. Now there's all kinds of extra toppings we can do after that. So as you can already see, you have a nice colorful, flavorful variety in your salad. And so now you wanna top it off. So what are you gonna put in those extra, you know, that extra topping, whether it be like toasted seeds or nuts, um, for a little bit of crunch, or maybe it's a sort of source of like healthy fats that you want to put in there. There's all different kinds of like whole grain chips and things like that you can put in in addition to if you want to swap out croutons. There's all kinds of toppings that you can put in your salad. So last thing that we want to do now is to make our salad dressing. So now that our ingredients are all in there, time to whip up some salad dressing. So store-bought salad dressings can be really full of sugar or artificial flavors or saturated fats. And so making something just really simple at home is gonna be the best choice. So I have a couple recipes for you that you can dive in and try. A really simple olive oil and vinegar dressing you could do. There's all kinds of options. Just get a little bit creative because there's room here for to add some extra flavor. There's room here to add some extra nutrients. And so that is your last thing to go on there. So when we talk about salads, I just want to get away from thinking that they have to be boring or bland or restrictive or not filling. They can actually be a really delicious and healthy and yummy meal. So I would love to hear your favorite salad. I'm going to give you a couple other recipes as well 
um, with the blog. So definitely click over there, read a little bit more detail, start putting together your own delicious salads, um, click on the recipes and let me know what your favorite things are to put in there. I would absolutely love to hear.